Everybody, I'm back and today we are finally going to enchant some gear yes I'm sorry but that means I might start dying less uh, which is good for me <laughs> so yeah let's get right into that now here we are in my chanting area we do reach max level 30 enchantments here we have some gear I prepped quite a while ago when I thought I was going to be able to do this, and I keep losing all the levels, dying before I can enchant it. So I wanted to start off today on the right foot by getting Silk Touch, maybe? Hmm. Should I go for the Silk Touch that's guaranteed? Yeah, better do it. I'll go ahead and enchant this one, too. Ah, weak. All right. Golden leggings. Hold on, hold on. 22, what? 20, I made sure this was doing level 30. I must have changed something that I didn't notice. Okay, hang on guys, I'm gonna fix this. Okay, we are back. I've got this fixed again. We are able to hit level 30 again. Um, I also went into the nether really quick and was able to farm up some more levels. I got six more levels because it was at 30. Wasn't going to be able to do much more enchanting with that. So, yep, gathered that up. I was able to survive the nether without dying, which is a big plus. So anyway, let's get on this. Um, what to start with though? I think I'm going to start with the helmet. Right, take it. Um, chest plate. Could be better. Alright, those will last a little while, hopefully. Yeah, they're falling. Oh my gosh, I really needed that. Fortune, nice. Um, go ahead and do this one too. Now, the sword and axe I haven't done. I think I'm gonna leave those to do, uh... Uh, tinker gear with that. Actually, I'll go ahead and do the axe for now. I do need a new tinker sword, though. Let's put this nice gear on. Yes. And there we are. Fully geared. Looking great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it's nighttime. Gotta sleep. Okay, we have a bright new day here, and a project to get started. Whoa! That's right. Okay, so I have a little area set up here that I'm going to do my next uh, little build in. This is more of a utility build. It's a farm, a villager farm for wheat going to handle i need i'm going to need a lot of wheat for trading and stuff so i figured this would be a good chance to get another farm in here's some of the material i've gathered that i know i'm going to need a little more i think i'm going to start out with the just getting a basic uh frame down and an idea for levels of things so like what I mean is if this is one of the corners and that's a corner. Okay. In. Okay. 
Okay. That's what the layout will be. I'm gonna need to go one higher in the chest. Oops. Okay, and this will be. Oh. <laughs> There we go. That will be our initial floor. Now this is a standard villager farm. I'm not sure who created it. Um, I've done my own little take on it, so I do change some of the things up. I've kind of made them into little pods in a way, but I really like them. They work really well, and I'm going to need it. There we go. Okay, so it has been a little while since I've made one of these. Um, got my order of operations a little backwards. But we're going to get that fixed right now. Okay, so we have a bit of a basic structure come together now. This is the inside. This is where our chests are going to be located. Ooh, I do not have enough chests. Okay. And over here, we have this ladder. It goes on up. Here we will be able to access the minecart hopper, which goes back and forth. We can stop it if we need to. We can check to make sure if it's moving um, from this little portal here. And if we continue up, this will be the main area of the, the uh, farm. So this will all be tilled and growing wheat. I'll have a farmer in here and he'll be producing mainly wheat, but also some bone meal and some seeds for us. The next step, you gotta get a bit of a cover on this so that we can see him, but he can't get out.
Okay, now we have a little bit of a roof put on the structure so that the villager can roam free in here and not have to worry about any incoming threats. Okay, now we're down here in the storage air collection area. Got to hook up the collection system. So. Oh no, I did it wrong. Turns out. I've made the roof one block too low. I should have been able to see that now that I'm in here, but I didn't. So the problem was these hoppers needed to be in the roof with it being low like this. So I had to remove the strip of oak slabs that was right here, and I had replaced them with the hoppers, and then I had to replace the rails that were on top. So. Now they go over here, it will unload a little bit more often, which will help fill up some of these chests that are further down the line, but that's no big deal. So now really quick, I'm going to go ahead and link them up. And I'm going to close off this extra space, just so we get no funny business going on in here. Alright, with that the storage system is complete. Okay, now we have the bottom complete for the most part, besides like decorations, of course. We have the storage system is all hooked up. Wheat, seeds, and bone meal will be going into all these chests. Put in some lighting, covered up the redstone in the roof, and give it a little bit of design. Um, over here, this is our access. Still not completely done, but it's coming along. This is where I'm going to bring in the villager from. This is so I can get in and out without the villager being able to get in and out. It's just the kind of door I prefer using. I put in this little lever here. Um, it connects to a redstone rail above. And it just will allow me to turn off the minecart when I need to. And then I can flip the switch if it's off and it'll turn it back on again and it'll be coll off collecting.
Here's where we're currently looking outside. Still leaves a lot to be desired. Um, and just the general look of it all, but it's coming along. We'll get there. Okay, things have really come along. Uh, I've got the basic structure done besides general decorating. You can see that side of it. A little overhang. It's got its general lighting completed. This is uh, where I'm going to bring in the villager. I have my lucky block of iron, uh, block of emerald for that. Let's see inside here. A little better decorated. It's not done yet, but it looks nicer than it did. So why don't we go get a villager? Now the other night I was playing and. I was over one of the entrances to my base and I suddenly started getting attacked by a bunch of zombie villagers. I came back here after I cleared them all and looked and yep, there were definitely a bunch of villagers missing. We didn't lose them all and I still have the ones down in the hole there, uh, but I did lose a bunch of them. So. I'm going to need one to be a farmer villager. All right, I just locked this villager in. He has wheat trade, which is what I want. And I'm gonna bring him back to the farm. I'll go ahead and turn him into a zombie villager and reduce his prices at some point later, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. This is more about just getting the farm up and going. This emerald block makes this so much easier. here now he's gonna have to fill up his inventory before the st farm starts really producing so I'm gonna go ahead and try to fill up his inventory a little bit help him out I'm gonna give him a bunch of seeds which hurts because I need those seeds but I have another plan to generate all the seed I'm gonna be needing So this is this area is finished now. He's fully enclosed. He's going to keep uh, farming the area and as it grows up he'll harvest and replant. Some of it will get put into this composter and eventually bone meal will come out of it. Here I have just a little lighting hidden so it lights up the area, looks nice. Let's close this up. Okay, now we just got to get this minecart in and going. Now, uh, they don't move right off the bat. A nice little trick is use a fishing rod on them. There we go. Now we've done a little bit more decoration out here at the farm just to uh, make it look a little bit nicer. I'll still be doing some touch up here and there, but as you can see, it's a little bit more pleasant to look at now. This handy little villager farm pod will create, will harvest quite a bit of resources. He's just got to fill up his inventory first. <laughs> 